What's up YouTube? It's a fun from Tech Cycle. In this video, we are going to compare iOS versus Android. It's not going to be a random old comparison. We are going to compare jailbreak versus routing. It's not going to be a theory perspective video. It's going to be more in generalized perspective. I have rooted my device, jailbroken my device, and I'm going to give my thoughts on both these things. So let's get started. I'm going to give you six point from the research section till the revision process coupled with my experience. So the first one is spam is higher on jailbreak when compared to routing. If we search for jailbreak for a particular iOS version, six out of 10 will be spam. And when we do that on YouTube, nine out of 10 will be spam. This will take us to a website which contain lot of ads and will make us to do survey which will give us the jailbreak option but it's just fake that is it's all spam while on android that is on routing i will not say there is no spam but the android users that is who is going to want to root their device will stick to the community like xda developers for pda lenovo forum semi forum oneplus forum they they are going to stick with this forum as they provide these tutorials to do all this stuff that is routing but for iOS, there is no community, which brings us to the second point of this video, lack of community for iOS user. I never thought of this point until I started to write the script for this video and it's a plus point for writing the script for a video. And it's a great point. When we search for a problem related to iOS, we end up in a web post from iClarified, iPhone X, Mac rumors like that, trusted source, or we end up in a spam. But when we search for a problem related to routing or Android, we either end up in the forums like SD forums, for PDA, Lenovo forums or like that forums or we end up from the source like Android Authority, Android Police like that source or we end up in a spam. So we reaching the spam is a little bit less as we get most of our answers from this XDA or from Android Police less that's from the trusted source. Third point is that iOS is on EC side, at least when we look at from the consumer side, cause nowadays jailbreak is very simple, sideload app and press a button, your phone will be jailbroken. But when we look at on Android side, nowadays it's little bit more easy to root our device. As most of the device come with a locked bootloader, we need to unlock the bootloader and we need to request permission from the manufacturer. There will be waiting time and after all that, unlock the bootloader we need to flash to root our device so it's a little bit more easy fourth point is that routing does not provide that much customization and tick option like jailbreak because most of this option is already available on android routing just provide an extra and but on jailbreak when we look at that jailbreak can provide and improve ios in a lot of ways it is giving a lot of opportunity for ios user but for routing it's not like that and we can't really compare the t count and option from this jailbreak and routing cause both these are from entirely different area and are working on entirely different os so no comment on that and on the fifth point we will look at the issue caused by the installation of incompatible ticks and modes on ios to give us a safety measure that is substrate mode so when we install an incompatible tick it will boot our device into substrate mode and we can safely uninstall the application but on android that is if we install a particular mode and it is, it is incompatible our device will be will not boot up and we need to go to in recovery mode and it is little bit more easy to recover from there so i just got, got an end on that section and finally we come to the point of the reversion process and on the reversion process also ios got a more and because just plug your device into itunes and just press a button your device will be back to normal while on android it is not that simple it is a little bit more easy you need to install all the all the drivers and you need to make sure that it is compatible with your os and the port you are using that's usb3 on usb2 that sometimes is a bit problem on that and you need to have the software installed you need to download the software update from researching section that is you need to do a lot of research to revert back to your old os so that's a little bit more easy than ios version so it's a little bit more trouble to require our router device but it's not impossible it's possible but it's a little bit more trouble 
so that's all about this comparison between jailbreak and routing coupled with my experience so thanks for watching guys if you think this video sucks if you think this video sucks, also meet the like button and stick with us so you might find something interesting